continue our focus on a local woman who is very interested in what happens with that legislation, saying she'd actually testify before Congress in support of the bill. She wants to share her own harrowing story after surviving severe blood clots following a Johnson & Johnson vaccine. She's even pushing Colorado politicians to take action. Colette Bordelon following up for us tonight on this one in a million story. You may remember Kendra Lippy. So this is my medicine. When I first met her in June, she was unloading her weekly shipment. Here. But that it same like fridge. Yep, it's just all food now. Now a sign of her recovery. I'm sure that feels good. It does. Every time you have to talk about it, it just, it's still very fresh, even though it was, you know, in March. Lippy says after she got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in March, she got extreme blood clots and slipped into a coma for almost a month. Our small intestine is made up of three parts, and um, I have the beginning and the end, but I'm missing the entire middle. Last Wednesday, I went on my first five mile walk and I did good. But she's getting better, even though her life has changed forever. My health care should be provided and taken care of because I did what I was supposed to do. Her lawyer says he expects her medical bills to be over a million dollars. The government shouldn't be leaving people like Kendra who are wounded in the war to defeat this pandemic on the field of battle. Stephen Justino yeah, believes the system designed to take COVID-19 adverse reaction claims will not be able to handle them. And he's hoping the Colorado congressional delegation will lead the charge to give Lippy and others like her a safety net. They need to meet Kendra to truly understand how these uh, adverse reactions are affecting real people. Lippy saying she's fighting for more than herself. I still am for the vaccine, um, for sure, because I still think that's what's going to get us out of this pandemic. An effort to protect the people she loves and those she's never met. Colette Bordelon for us tonight. The CDC reports there's been just under 40 reports of severe adverse reactions involving blood clots after the J&J &J vaccine out of around 13 million doses administered. Lippy's lawyer says they have a year from the vaccination date to file a claim. He plans on waiting as long as he can to do so, saying he wants to wait a bit longer to see if some of his concerns are actually addressed by Congress before filing.